Hi guys, Phil Dragon here. So, hopefully you've watched my five worst times. Uh, this is obviously, for me, the best kind of times I've, that's happened, you know, still that's happened to me that, you know, I, I'm really happy did happen because it has sort of been life changing and overall made, just made my general army life better as a whole. So, kicking off my uh, first in the list, you know, number five, it's basically a carry on from the last video. Uh, you know, my number one most hated thing was one I saw just because the the it, just because of it, right? So, my number five is moving to 2LSR. It was a huge, huge breath of fresh air. I was a lot more respected. Because uh, I don't know why, just because people start to, you know, people start to realise, you know, who who I am and you know what I've got to offer as a epic guy and a comedic genius. <laughs> um, but no, in in my second unit it was a lot better. Yeah, you know, the seniors were sound. Everyone was sound to me. Yeah, it was really it was a lot better in general, uh, and it I felt you know I did start to enjoy my time. At, at work, uh, and you know, I was always treated a lot better. And I had this I can't remember his name, this Staffy. He was a brilliant guy. I can't remember his name at all, but yeah, it was just it was just a lot nicer. Basically, just to get out of that hell hole. And I was actually in a Z type block, you know, as well. So the accommodation was better, the work was better, the people were better. So two of us was fantastic. Um, by <laughs> by any comparison to one of us, okay. This will be a much quicker list just because I, I don't need to explain things as much. Um, my fourth best thing was moving to Worthy Down. When I got posted to Worthy Down, if you don't know what it is, it's a phase two establishment. But when I was in phase one and two, I always, always, always said I just want to be a PTI at a training place to see what it's like on their side. and. When I went to Tulsa as a PTI, uh, it was it was really good. I didn't need to deal with any the army bullshit like exercises or tours or this or that or inspections or anything. You know, it was it was epic uh, being a phase two PTI just because. Yeah, mo most recruits when they see the PTI, yeah, they find them intimidating, uh, and because. When, when people first meet me, I seem dead serious or something on, on lessons. I, see, I don't know, people, I, I, when I started talking or getting feedback, uh, you know, people's initial impressions of me on, on lessons was dead strict or, yeah, he, he likes thrashing people. Obviously, I like thrashing people because it's fun. Yeah, I, I had to do it. It's a lot worse when we had to do it. But I didn't, it, uh, what they consider thrashing was not thrashing. Um, it was just really fun, you know. I I felt the tits because I am the tits. <laughs> yeah. um, it was just it was just a great experience. Yeah, it's what I said I wanted. You know, years before, and I finally got to that point. Yeah, I don't I do not care in the slightest about army stuff. I I am the least 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 keenest person. Uh, so I the, my high point was getting to a phase two place and I think for most PTIs is getting to a training establishment just because it's a wicked experience. Alright so moving on, um, my third best was get it when I first got promoted uh, to get my lunch jack. That, uh, like I say, because my whole time in 1SR it was nuts so you can imagine uh, yeah I wasn't very liked uh, and no matter what you know, uh, what I do, you know, no matter how much I was doing with taekwondo, you know, how much I was doing with uh, fitness and and cross countries and going on tour and that, I, I always got bad reports. Uh, no, it was you know, it was really, really, really bad, and it it was other things like that that really messed me up. But when I was in two LSR. Uh, after I did my PTI course and I did my second tour and everything like that, I, I end up getting number one in the regiment. Uh, God knows why. <laughs> out of 500 people, 
uh, for t so to me, I mean that's not amazing to everyone, but for me personally, because it's my personal list, it was it was really nice to be recognised um, just because of how I was treated previously in the last unit to how I was tre getting treated in the second unit. I was, you know, I was really happy with that. It was it was a big thing just because of, of previous stuff. So getting number one in, in the whole regiment out of 500 people, it was really nice just just for the fact it was the recognition. It was very, uh, it was just a great moment for me in my, my old terms. Like I say, I do not care about army stuff, but it was just a sheer fact of respect was great. Okay, so my number two best, best, best thing Really, really damn good. Best thing I've ever done army-wise was when I got forced to do my PTI course. <laughs> um, I, I wasn't ever meant to be on the course at all. It was some other dude, but he got taken off the course for some reason, uh, and then I got dicked to go on it. The only thing I've ever, I've ever been forced to do. That's actually been good. So I got, I got forced to do the PTI course, and that really changed everything for me it was the it was it's not just <laughs> i don't know it's not just being a pti if you don't know what pti is it's a physical training instructor you know the guy who just works in the gym in the army right but it's not it's not just that <laughs> it's how much you can get away with <laughs> it's <laughs> how much you can get off and get yeah it's been so funny the amount of shit i've been able to get off <laughs> Just because I work in the gym, for Christ's sake, it's nuts. Uh, like, so my like when I was in Chulasar, uh, my entire squad <laughs> going on exercise and and like my sergeant major and OC emailing, emailing yeah, my core guy, I think it was Neil at the time, uh, Neil Davison, and they're like, oh Neil, we need a couple dragon out uh, on exercise. We don't have enough junior NCOs, and he's like, oh couple dragon can't come because he's covering me. <laughs> <laughs> shit like that. I was able to get off exercises, able to get off so much stuff uh, in general just because I, yeah, I was able to get off inspections or parades or this or that and then it's not, not just that but it's such a better uniform. It's for a lot of people, when I first passed the course, you know, everyone was like, congratulating me. I was the only PTI in 2LSR at the time. Everyone got posted out of the t out. At a certain point, I was the only one, because everyone's either on tour or away doing shit. So I was like the dude for everything. Um, and it was it was epic, because, you know, at first I got told loads of people are envious, uh, cause, just because working in the gym is cool, because all you do is, you do loads of other crap, but like paperwork and shit. But your main thing is you just do lessons, and train <laughs> so yeah what a what a epic job you know just take a few lessons set a circuit up shout at everyone for an hour for some reason you look like you're the best even though you're standing watching everyone uh but yeah it just it's cool it, it if i didn't if i weren't a pti for so many years i would have left the army a long 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 time ago um this definitely kept me in and it's definitely been the most Job satisfying thing ever. So I've obviously been a, a PTI at, at Tulasar, uh, I've been a PTI at Worthy Down, and I've been a PTI here in Southampton. Uh, and you just get away, not away with everything, but you, it's a whole different respect level. I, I have seen by a long shot from normal line shit. Not trying to blow my heart, it's just, you know, even as general, you know, when I was a normal private, uh, or, you know, before I did it all, I would always respect the PTI at the gym more than I would respect a normal guy. Even if the PTI was like a private, I'd give him more respect just because it, it felt like that. Because it, it, I don't know, it just it's that kind of thing with it. Uh, so even seniors and stuff, you get away with loads, uh, and it's just a lot of fun. A lot of fun for respect, the job. I I I recommend PTI cost to everyone just because. When you're able to work in the gym full time, it's cool. It's just a lot cooler than working, doing
doing normal bollocks that with the army stuff because army work is so so shit. Especially RLC, screwing up vehicles in the cold, how depressing. But moving on, uh, it's my number one best thing ever happened to me in the army uh, is meeting my best mate James Christie. Right, <laughs> I I first met him kind of. Uh, when I was in Leckensfield and uh, where, where was Deep Cut kind of thing, I, I I thought he was some weird Welsh guy. I thought he was just some weird Welsh guy uh, that I, I didn't wasn't interested to talk to. Uh, but we we sort of started getting on a bit more when we got stuck in a room together when I was at Deep Cut. Then we end up both going to one one SR and. We, yeah, we talk all the time. Yeah, he's been out of the army a good few years now. You know, this is talking when I was like 17 and I'm 26 now and non-stop we've been best mates through everything. Absolutely, yeah, we've been uh, units together, tours together. Yeah, he's the, he's the guy that introduced me to PC gaming <laughs> when I was about 22. So he, he's the guy responsible for my uber geekness. But we we have a lot of fun yeah we we are always you know fucking doing shit together uh, even though he's way up north in Scotland we're always online doing stuff together and we have such a laugh all the time so for me yeah he he for me is the only person the only person in my life out of everyone who I would consider a real brother I mean, my even my little brother. He's not even. The last time that, yeah, he's not even called me my whole time I've been in the army. But that's not the point. Brothers are brothers. Yeah, I can't. It can't change them. We're all, we don't speak to each other. Is how it goes with, with uh, my brothers. We do not speak to each other unless we go home and we're, we're in the same room randomly. But apart from that, we just don't speak to each other. That's how our entire family is. Uh, a lot to do that's with me and and them. It's, it's both things. But I don't really care about that. I forgot about family ten years ago. Um, but Christy, James Christy, definitely as yeah. Out of everyone, out of all my shit relationships, never-ending shit, everything. That that's the he's the funniest guy I can go back to. Just have a laugh. We get on, yeah, headsets, chatting, and just play stuff. Solid hours and chatting and telling stories and having a laugh and yeah, is yeah. I I'll. I, that, I don't know, it's hard to explain, he's just fucking the best dude ever. Uh, so uh, so I, I've, I've always struggled to stay in contact with people because most people generally bore me. I, I'm very hard to uh, keep attached to other people. If I don't have anything in common with them, I don't see the point in talking to them uh, in general. Uh, and I, I'm very bad when it comes to uh, being social. Uh, but with it, he's my, you know, he's my my best best mate, and it's that's it. Yeah, so that's my number one best thing that's happened to me in the army. If I didn't join the army, I want to, yeah, I want to met, I want to met my best mate. So that's that's my list. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that video. Uh, please subscribe, share, like. That's my top five worst things and best things that's happened to me in the army. All right, so thank you very much. Uh, hopefully. I get to see you guys on another video. Alright, bye bye.